Okay, we're here in round two with an awesome opener. Um, we're against Red Black Aggro. Uh, all I saw was a Vampire Interloper and a Falcon Wrath Torturer, so don't know what else he has in his deck. I didn't scout it too much, but he is indeed Red Black Aggro. So I'm assuming some Diagraph Ghouls, um, Typhoid Rats it looks like. Oh, Blazing Torch. Well, we've got our mana worked out for us for the next few turns, so Blazing Torch is just fine on turn one. Um, Slayer looks like he's going to be doing some work this game, which I like. Possible Evil Twin Slayer action later. Yeah. Slayer is going to be doing some work. Oh my god, Lingering Souls off the top? Wow. It's pretty good. Alright. So take three here. Doesn't have the mana to do that. Um, we have a victim. Mm. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, we're not going to make the best use of our mana this way, but... Pretty sure this is still the best way to do it. Just not quite prepared to drop the Lingering Souls yet. So this kind of makes his attack weird plus we get to kill this highborn ghoul yeah this is gonna work great for us so I don't quite see the problem So, pretty solid two for one for us there. Could I have a Wake Dancer here? He's got two cards left in his lab, or one card left in his hand now, um, which is a perfect cue for Lingering Souls. Um, yeah. More than happy to take Black Cat, but I will easily trade with the Typhoid Rat. Alright. No plays. Looking pretty good now. Okay. Get him for two. Then we do Lingering Souls. Armored scab. And pass the turn. After we self mill, of course. Uh, dumped our curse and a butcher's cleaver and a slayer, so pretty bad targets that we hit there with our armored scab, but uh, considering our board position, we're looking pretty good right now. Removal, removal, copy. Um, ordinarily, the main deck one eyed scarecrow would be a concern, but. This Victim of Night sure looks good. Which is yet another reason why we're taking this one damage. Main deck, one-eyed Scarecrow, and a red-black aggro deck. That is something you don't see very often. Okay, so you're dead. We're going to attack with a bunch of dudes. Taking it all. Doesn't even want to trade that typhoid rat away. Alright, and then we'll drop this headless scab. Get a nice clunky dude on the ground. Uh, exile that. Alright. 
still looking pretty good. So you'll see two good cards. Main deck Night Terrors, also unusual. Also very unusual. So we got rid of the Slayer. Or he got rid of the Evil Twin. Excuse me. It's not attacking the Black Cat. Okay. Rune Minder, but we can't play it. Okay. I'll attack from above. We're going to be winning that race, so... I'm cool with that. Could have bashed with this too, but he would have either blocked with this or this, both of which are an annoyance that I don't think we have to deal with. So, no reason to do anything. Okay. Get in with our spirits. And we'll play the known information that he already has. Kill the big dude, the one big dude he's got. And possibly kill him next turn if he doesn't have a creature or something to play here. Which he does not. Okay, so we're just going to... Swing to the fences here. See if he plays some removal. He is indeed. Okay. It takes four, he goes to one. Black Cat dies. Gonna randomly discard Niblis and play an Occultist and pass turn. Uh, didn't have to play the Occultist. Uh, I suppose he could have scouted it from match one. Although, actually, I'm not sure if I played the Occultist or not. Alright, got game one. Pretty awesome. Opponent. Odd main deck choices, One-Eyed Scarecrow and Night Terrors are typically sideboard cards, so I would assume that means his pool is a little bit weaker because of that, um, although that might not necessarily be the safest assumption to make. Um, how many vampires did I see? I saw the Night Revelers, I saw Falcon Wrath. He's got enough vamps where I'm actually going to bring in the Wooden Stake. Um, what do I want to bring in the wooden stake for? That is the question. Definitely not the butcher's cleaver, because life gain is so relevant against red black aggro. Both of these slayers look insane. Death's caress does seem a little bit clunky, but it is a removal spell. Um... Is wooden stake not necessary? I kind of feel like I want a wooden stake, but I think we're actually tight enough, as it is. I don't think, even though it would be good against him, the rest of our stuff, are, we're, we're in a good curve right now. I just like the way this looks. So we're going to do this again. All right. Opponent is clearly playing first. Correct. Yeah. We're on the draw. We have... So we need a blue source. I'm going to keep it. I think on the draw, this is a fairly safe keep. If we don't get a blue source, kind of in trouble, but we have seven blue sources. Which is a ton of potential draws. We also have some black cards that we could play, like Black Cat and something else that escapes me right now. Screeching Bat or something.
No highborn ghoul would be nice. Okay, from our opponent that is. Um, yeah, I suppose I'll play the torch. Not really playing around werewolves that way, but what can he do? All right, black cat. Missing his land drop. That would be good for us. Okay, so blue. No such luck. Alright. So he got his color off the top. Alright, well we have a ton of good stuff in our hand, so this night terror is really isn't that bad. I suppose he'd want to take what? The silent departure maybe? All of the stuff in our hand is good. He really hates that evil twin. Evil Twin is a good card. I might have considered one of the three drops. But what do I know? Okay. Not the best spot to be in. So we have eight drops we'd really like to see. So seven islands and a traveler's amulet would all be pretty pretty perfect at the moment. Fortunately, our opponent peeled a land off the top again, which means he's probably going to land a pretty good spell here. Yeah, you could say that. You could you could say Olivia Valderin is a good card. Ah, that's why he was so anxious to get rid of Evil Twin. It's all coming together. Okay, maybe I should have scouted his games a little bit more closely. So, what can we do about Olivia with our Zero Islands hand? Not so much. Getting bashed pretty hard. He's probably got another drop here. Yeah, that's too bad. So can we get a blue source? Nope. Any chance? Alright, well we've got to tragic slip this. We'll take away his morbid. And at least if we get another land, we can kill the Olivia. That's good. Not going to gain any life, but hey, we're not going to die. So that's good. Really need to kill this Olivia pretty much immediately. Opponent's just peeling stuff now. land. Thank you. Alright. So we deal with the thing that's going to kill us. Pass the turn. Next turn, drop. I'm not exactly sure. Hopefully we can actually peel another blue and then we could possibly Tower Geist plus Silent Departure or something. I think I actually want to drop the Tower Geist anyway just to get an extra card. Possibly get another land so we can do more things. Stromkirk Captain. Oh yeah, Scarecrow Vampire. Isn't that funny? Um, if I play Curse here... How bad is Curse here? I think I actually want to do the Cultist. and then equip it. So he can equip Wolf Hunter's Quiver and then swing with the Stromkirk Captain and then he would be able to kill my cell of a cultist. Or he could just dead weight it instead and then equip a Quiver and then kill it. I see. Well we've fallen behind Uh, mill our opponent. Although, no, I guess I should have milled myself because I want to hit Lingering Souls. Alright, I need to remember that. Sometimes I want to mill my opponent and sometimes I want to mill myself. And in that instance, I think milling myself would have been the more, the more intelligent play. 
So this puts me at five, puts me in brimstone range, which is a little lousy. If I get a land off the top, I can curse plus silently depart, but I'm on a five turn clock because of that one eyed scarecrow. Oof. Eek. Not looking great. Not looking great. Everything requires blue. <coughs> 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 Excuse me. Um, Tower Geist, I believe. So, what are we putting in our hand? What are we putting in the graveyard? Putting the island in our hand, putting this in our graveyard, because we want to play this. And then we want to silently depart... Rom Kirk Captain. And then we equip this and pass the turn. So Wolf Hunter's Quiver is going to get the best of us, it appears. Not exactly sure how we're going to go about erasing that. Haven't quite figured that out yet. Well, if he's pinging our guy instead, I guess that helps. But he's also got the Geist Flame. I'm pretty sure we're just dead. Unfortunately, missing that land drop in the first few turns really did cost us the game. Um, but that happens. I can accept that. Yep that guy, so... and that guy too, for good measure. Alright, so we're just really dead next turn. What can I do? Can I Slayer plus... nope, can't do that. Uh, I'm just gonna go to game three. I'm not gonna screw around with this. I mean, I could hope that he screws up, but between Geist Flame and Wolf Hunter's Quiver, there's just no possible way that I'm gonna be able to do uh, 20 damage to him. Pretty sad too. I feel like uh, we could have actually wrecked him that game with a couple lands. So um, definitely unfortunate, especially since our opponent has Olivia and we actually had played the out against it. So um, I guess we've got actually pretty good amount of outs against Slayer or against Olivia. I think we might want to do Rebuke too. Over what though? I don't know. I do not know. I already have a hard enough time getting my white online, so I'm not sure bringing in another one's the wisest idea. Do I want a fortress crab over something? Not exactly sure. Possibly over this rune binder, which looks kind of slow, but it is a human for the cleaver. No, I think we're okay. We'll try this again. All right, we'll play first, and we. How bad is this hand? How bad is this hand? Um, I think this hand's okay. We'll try for that blue source again. Just hope that we can get it and not end up like game two. So, in a vacuum, I think our, our deck is significantly stronger than our opponents. Very much. Actually, very, very much stronger than our opponents. Our opponent has Olivia, but we've got just a ton of good, uh, good, good resilient stuff. And we have the curse. Just a lot of good tools that we can take care of our opponent with, but uh, it's really a matter of are we going to be seeing our blue this game? No, it doesn't appear so. Not yet, at least. So, I, I would hate for this white splash that our deck has to be the bane of us, but that does happen when you splash a third color sometimes. So no interloper here would be nice, but no such luck. Okay, blue off the top would be perfect. Thank you. So now we do a cultist. Uh, we're still not going to block. We're going to try and get this cleaver online soon. Uh, we're playing the tower guys next turn, though. Just get to this curse of death's hold, which ideally will win us the game.
Okay, no red source out of our opponent yet is kind of nice. If you play something, I hope it's got one toughness. Does indeed. All right. Slayer? I want to save that for Olivia. So now we do the Tower Geist. And we're getting a land, hopefully, from this. Yeah, over the Diagraph Captain. Definitely want to make sure that we have that curse next turn. Don't want to attack with the Cultist either. I might actually be willing to take four damage here. Oh, excuse me, phone call. Okay, so what is his plan of attack? I'm trying to debate how important this two life is from the interloper. Um, I'm not actually sure. I'm not sure yet how important having the extra two life is. I think I am going to take it. So another one toughness guy and the game is just out of control. Oh my god. You ready for the coolest play ever? I know I am. Bah Um Mill ourselves, because we want to hit lingering souls. I mean we'd like the full value of it, but there's actually couple things that we could hit, I think. The Silent Departure as well, so we actually have value that we can get. Oh, he hit the Slayer. So lucky. So now actually, uh, if he pulls Olivia, we're in a little bit more trouble. Alright, we did hit the Lingering Souls, though. So that's ideal. Well, just what we're aiming for here. Uh, we can also possibly do the Butcher's Cleaver next turn on the Occultist and wreck our opponent pretty good. So we'll see if he's got the Olivia. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Okay. Uh was not expecting the curse. So our Lingering Souls unfortunately just became a dead card. But what do you know? We've got sweet play. can live with that. As long as I'm still getting in for four. We're going to start milling our opponent now, because I decided like I wanted to, I guess. I don't know. It's too bad, actually, that we milled that, because Interloper is straight up a dead card against us right now. Um, play our land. Equip. Bash for four. And play bat. Opponent has one card remaining. All right, pretty clearly swapping our screeching bat here. And ideally winning. All right, got the match. Sweet. We're on to the finals. This is my first double Curse of Death's Hold limited game. I'll tell you that much. Pretty weird. All right, I'll see you in the finals.